This is the story of the youngest mom in history. In 1939, a couple from a remote village in Peru became concerned when they noticed that their five-year-old daughter's stomach was growing. This little girl was named Lina Medina and she was the youngest of nine siblings. At first, Lina's parents believed that an evil spirit had possessed her body. Concerned for her health, her mother, Victoria Lucia, took her to seek medical help at a hospital in Lima. When the doctor first saw the child, he suspected that she had a huge tumor in her abdomen. But after a series of tests, his findings revealed the unimaginable truth. Five-year-old Lena was seven months pregnant. The situation became even more dramatic when on May 14, 1939, Lena underwent a life-threatening C-section, giving birth to a healthy baby boy, Gerardo. He was named after the doctor who treated her, Dr. Gerardo Lazada. Lina became the youngest mother in the world at only five years old. The authorities in Peru launched an investigation into the case. They suspected that Lina had been the victim of abuse and arrested her father, Tiburello Medina. He vehemently denied his involvement and was released after no evidence could be found against him. No one else was ever charged with the crime. There has been a great deal of speculation and curiosity around the case, not only about the identity of the father, but also about how a prepubescent girl could have gotten pregnant. Experts in the field state that it's possible for children with a rare genetic condition called precocious puberty to experience changes in their body that normally only happen in adults. Precocious puberty is characterized by the early onset of puberty, typically before age 8 for girls and before age 9 for boys. Lena's case was documented in a medical journal, revealing that she had her first period at just 8 months old. But this still doesn't explain everything. Someone had to get Lena pregnant. She never revealed who it was, and given her young age, she might not have even known herself. After giving birth, Lena and her family struggled to cope with the attention and stigma surrounding her pregnancy. Many media outlets offered money in exchange for an interview, including an American film company that wanted to document her story, but the family refused. Two years after Gerardo was born, Lena was assessed by a child specialist. He described her as bright and intelligent and said that she thinks of the child as a baby brother. Lena's son was raised by her parents and was told that Lena was his sister. He only learned the truth at the age of 10 when Lena was 15. Lena herself grew up and began working as a secretary at Dr. Lozada's clinic. Dr. Lozada not only provided her with a job in education, but also supported her son's education through high school. As an adult, Lena got married and gave birth to a second child. This time, she was in her 30s. At 89 years old, she is still alive today. Sadly, she outlived her son Gerardo, who died at age 40 from a disease. To this day, the identity of the father remains a mystery.